Hey guys, my name is Nori and welcome back to my channel. So uh, today, uh, for those who did not know, I am Nori. Hello, we have hit 4K. What? I'm so excited, y'all. But today we're going to be doing a library haul, y'all. I have not been to my library since this whole thing blew up. Now, just because the library is open doesn't mean coronavirus is it's still here y'all it's still here so i took extra precautions as in i actually went through my library catalog and put everything on hold waited about two to three days and picked it up and left so i wasn't roaming around my library you know i had my gloves i had my mask and when i came home i sanitized the book so uh, safety first y'all I want to say because I have uh, some, uh, I have some YA, I have some fantasies, I have middle grade, and I have some manga. So I'm going to list all the books down below with their Goodreads link. And um, yeah, if you just want to see that book, then uh, go ahead and click on that one. But if you want to see the full extent of this book haul, thank you so much for watching. So without further ado, here is the library haul. Alright, so the first two books that I'm going to be talking about are middle grade right here. And if you did not know, if I can hold this up without the ridiculous glare, there we go. I um I've been devouring middle grade. And honestly, I have been loving it. So if you are really hesitant, if you are a young adult or an adult and you're really hesitant about reading middle grade i'm telling you you're missing out the first book that we're going to be talking about it is clean getaway by nick stone and this follows william but in the story he they call him scoop so uh he is getting into a lot of trouble in school so i don't know if he gets suspended but he is locked away in his house for being you know getting into trouble but his grandma decides that you know i think they need a road trip so his grandma takes him on this road trip and they're going to be following this green book and uh, things start to get suspicious when he sees grandma acting really strange like changing their RV tag and noticing some really weird things because of this green book which holds memories and historical events and as you can see he is a POC character he is a black main character so he starts to realize that the world is not so kind to people like him and it sh it's a powerful story y'all so uh, i picked this up as soon as i saw it in my library and i know somebody else talked about it and they said that they loved it so obviously i'm gonna pick it up the next book it is sal and gabby's fix the universe by carlos hernandez and this is by rick riordan presents which we love rick riordan and we're getting a tv show continuing on this book got a lot of hype on twitter and y'all know i'm gonna support all my latinx writers like that's just a must for me here and um the synopsis is really confusing but it sounds so interesting because this is like a middle grade sci-fi that deals with wormholes so sal and gabby's dad is um what a physicist he said so hard for me to say oh boy a physicist he's a scientist damn it <laughs> he's a scientist so um he is determined to close all the wormholes his family has created but these wormholes serve for a purpose like keeping uh, one of the siblings in good health and um sal gets to visit his mom in different universes which she's not with them anymore and um yeah so uh his sister gabby from another universe says that it is a big mistake that their dad is going to be closing the wormholes because it's going to cause total destruction so we follow all these characters all these scientific things going on plus there's an ai and i'm pretty sure it's a toilet so <laughs> there's a lot of things that are going on in this book y'all but when i tell you that i'm ecstatic to pick this up y'all i cannot wait to pick this up so the next category that we're going to be talking about it is ya we have a uh, two ya fantasies one of them is short stories and then we have a contemporary 
to start with Foul is Fair by Hannah Kappen. I'm trying to not get the glare in the way, y'all. But I know that Heather from Aphrodite Reads was raving about this. And a lot of people have picked it up. And they have loved it as well. So this follows these popular girls and they end up at this prep party where these golden boys actually targets one of the girls and things get really sour trigger warning for sexual assault and she wants to get revenge so uh, she moves to the school and begins almost like a coven of witches and she is ready to tear these boys limb from limb to get the revenge that she deserves y'all i know that this uh they call it a thrilling revenge fantasy YA which is kind of a lot but first of all I'm living for these colors love it and second of all I just love that the main character is like you know what I'm gonna take justice into my own hands and these boys are gonna die so <laughs> I thought that was a super interesting concept and I cannot wait to pick this up next one here it is clap when you land by elizabeth acevedo y'all if you did not know elizabeth acevedo is definitely one of my top all-time favorite authors ever i love her and anything that she writes so this follows two girls one is in new york one is in dominican republic and both do not know that they're actually sisters because the dad has been living a double life but when tragedy actually strikes and um the dad was on his way to new york but his plane crashes these girls are about to get the awakening of their life. And if you know her writing, you know that this is going to be difficult. It's going to be heartbreaking. It's going to leave you full. It's just, I love her writing. So I already started reading this and I was loving it so far. So hopefully I finish it and give it a five stars as well. So yeah. Next book we have here, it is A Phoenix Must Burn, and these are all by 16 different authors. So this is definitely a short story collection about black girl magic. And the first author that is on here, <laughs> it is Elizabeth Acevedo. So you know I was like, <laughs> I need to read this book. Plus like black girl magic, 16 different fantasy stories. I am here for it. So it is Elizabeth Acevedo, Mary. Patrice Caldwell, we have Danielle Clayton, we have uh, a whole, we have Evie's boy, Daniel Page, Rebecca Ronhorse, we got a lot of different popular black authors and I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. I just got my hold for my audiobook as well, so I was like, mm -hmm, need the library book because I've been absolutely addicted to reading and listening to the book i think that is just absolutely so relaxing so i picked it up and i'm going to devour this in the next week <laughs> all right the next category that we have it is adult fantasy i believe these both actually if you can see by the sticker they recently just came into the library and since i'm a stalker for books i saw these and i'm like I actually had this on my Goodreads since last year and I haven't been able to pick it up and um, this book we're gonna start with this book right here and that is The Library of the Unwritten by AJ Hackwitch y'all if you have been seeing all of the mid-year book freak out tags you would know that this book right here has been in a lot of them and um, every time I hear the synopsis I'm like <sighs> This sounds for me. This book is for me. So I picked it up and I'm going to devour it very soon. So this follows Claire and Claire is the head of all the books that have been unwritten in this library and the library is in hell. So she is in charge of the library and these books are pretty much unfinished books in people's lives and she has to make sure that they are kept safe that nothing happens to them or any of the characters escape but when one of the characters escape you know she and her group decides to go after this character and what turns into a simple rescue mission an angel comes and tells them and they start battling this angel apparently and uh, this angel is like hey you have the devil's bible in there and uh, that book pretty much I believe has some type of control over heaven 
hell and earth and this book if it gets to the wrong hands you know chaos ensues so i was like wow i need this book and again it just came into my library and i was like eh, snatch so i cannot wait to read this book next book that we have here it is a steel crow saga by paul kerger i believe i hope that i was saying that right if not please correct me down below and the reason why i add this to my goodreads last year it says this book is for the fans of the avatar and y'all know that the avatar just came to netflix i devour it already all the seasons are done and i plan to rewatch it again because childhood was amazing so <laughs> I believe this follows um four characters so this is a fantasy book I don't know if it's YA or adult I think this is adult I'm not 100% sure so this follows four different characters and it's a fantasy book so um so this book follows four different characters and the stories but it intertwines at the end which you know I love when stories do that and all I know is that there is a magical steel that you fight within this kingdom and um, you have uh, animals that accompany you in battle it says um, magical animals companions fight alongside their masters in battle and I was just like we got like I don't want to say like spirit guide animals but we have like warrior animals we got a war we got some fighting we got destiny here y'all my favorite tropes are in here and um again it just came into my library so i was like hmm, i need to pick this up so if you guys have read this book let me know down below because i think i i don't know i think i've heard one or two people on booktube talk about it but not enough people to ex i know exactly what happens in this book um yeah and the last and final category we have are all of the mangas y'all know i'm trash for mangas and graphic novels i actually picked up two graphic novels and they weren't ready so i will have that in the next haul and we're gonna start off with this book which is the wolf children ami and yuki y'all every time I've had my eye on this book for years now. Every time I go to Barnes & Noble, I pick this book up and I just look at it and I'm like, oh my god, one day I'm going to read you and have in my collection. And my library has never had this book before. So I had to go searching for different libraries in my county and one of them had it, so I had it shipped out to my library. And y'all, this book is $27, I believe, and I cannot justify buying it without actually reading it so your girl got lucky ordered it from the library and i know this has a movie as well and i've seen like the clips of the movie <sighs> oh, i cried during the trailer so i knew i just had to have this book and it follows a mother and two children now this mom i believe the story begins with the mom's love story with the dad and the dad can actually shift to a wolf and the mom falls in love with him not realizing that he can shift to a wolf and there starts their romance but the dad actually um passes away and she has to learn how to raise wolf children so this is pretty much a story of that i know this is going to be cute but hard hitting and i can't wait to finish it or and i cannot wait to start it hopefully fingers crossed i love it because i would love to have this in my collection next book that we have it is orange volume 2 by ichigo takano now this is a duology it does have like an extra book but y'all know i'm not really into any extra books i'm gonna keep this as a duology and i read this from my library not too long ago and i gave the first book a five out of five stars it follows naho and kakeru and all the characters now trigger warnings for mental health suicidal thoughts these group of kids all go to high school and uh, one day our main character gets a letter from the future saying hey you have the power to actually keep this character 
from doing something very harmful in the future and um you're gonna regret it if he doesn't actually live so uh, she takes these letters day by day and it gives her instructions on what is gonna happen and what can she do to change the future so um yeah this is very this was a sad story but it was funny at times y'all i cried so i I can't wait to read the second book hopefully I love it just as much as the first but I know a lot of people say that the first book is better but I'm still keeping my hopes up next we have a start of a new manga series and that is again by Mitsuro Kubo and um, this is actually the creator of Yuri on Ice y'all I watched Yuri on Ice a couple of years ago and it was absolutely trash for it. It was definitely one of my favorite anime series ever. Oh, it's so good, y'all. If you have seen Yuri on Ice, let me know so we can fangirl together. So, um, yeah, I picked this up actually on my library's recommendation because they, they had the spin the wheel kind of thing. And you spin the wheel and whatever it lands, it's what you pick up. So I took a chance and I actually picked this one up by coincidence. So uh, pretty much... The synopsis, is a, the synopsis of this book, it follows our main character and our main character hates high school and they've had a very bland, you know, four years, three years of high school and uh, it's graduation time but I believe after he gets a diploma, he falls down and wakes up to the first day of high school he actually gets a chance of reliving his high school days and along the way he makes some friends and maybe falls in love so uh, i'm super excited to pick this up again it already has a couple of volumes out but sure why not let's start a new series and uh, the last and final series slash books slash manga I'm going to be talking about is Yona of the Dawn by Mitsuho Kusanagi and I have volumes 20 through 24. Now I'm only holding 20, 21, 22, 23 and I don't know where I put 24 but I know I checked out 24 and 24 is the last volume that has been released so after I read 24 I am officially caught up with the series and I know it's not done. I don't know how many volumes we have left but y'all this is one of my favorite I dare say this is my favorite manga of all times as of right now Yana of the Dawn takes my number one spot and y'all know this because I every time I mention manga your girl's talking about this book <laughs> so I don't know if I should talk more about it but um <sighs> I love the series so much y'all. Yona is a princess of the kingdom with her bodyguard which is Hawk and um, her father we got um, Prince Suwon and a tragedy happens when the love of her life aka Prince Suwon kills her father and steals the throne. Yona is um, heartbroken and she's desperate and now these people are trying to kill her because now she's the heir to the throne so she runs away with Hawk and running away she finds out there that there is this prophecy where all the dragons unite and it will pretty much change the world and um yeah that's the fastest way i can explain this book y'all we're on volume 24 i'm on volume 20 and a lot goes on there's a lot of character development there are amazing fighting scenes there is a romance like a slow burn romance y'all <sighs> I love this series so much. <laughs> Y'all, please pick this up. Honestly, it's my favorite. And I love it so much. So, yeah. All right, y'all, so these are all of the books that I have unhauled. As you can see, this is very unstable. I do not recommend it. But thank you so much for watching my channel. If you guys have any ideas or anything that you do want to watch in this channel, go ahead and comment down. You know, I'm always open for ideas. And I love, love, love seeing all of your comments and responding to all of your comments you guys are absolutely amazing and i love you guys and thank you so much for your support so yeah uh this is getting really heavy so i'm gonna say goodbye thank you so much for watching my channel and i will see you next time bye